Mario, who lived um, all her life uh, a, a very privileged one. She had access to education, uh, a, fa a stable family life, uh, a brother, and horse uh, riding lessons. But despite this, Jessie knew she was adopted and there was always a hole in her heart. And like many thousands of other uh, children who were adopted from Romania in the 90s and 2000s, uh, she, was, she started looking for her um, um, natural mother to uh, reconnect. Most of these children use social media um, uh, platforms like the Never Forgotten Children of Romania to, to, to reunite. And there are many stories like her out there. Our story follows Jessie in her journey to reunite with her natural family in Kalarash, a very poor, discriminated, uh, marginalized Roma community. We are going to look at the contrast between the two worlds, the Canadian, the Western society, and the one uh, in, in um, Kalarash. Uh, so embarking, no, it, it's not an easy thing, and, and, and Jesse has made a decision to actually move here permanently in, in, uh, in, in April, so quite soon. Um, we don't know where the story is going to go, but the film is about belonging, social contrast, discrimination, poverty, and mental health. Our partner here, um, the Center for Legal Resources, has uh, been a great, great uh, partner in helping with access to information and um, expertise um, in, in the field. We have made contacts already with Canadian co-producers um, and we're uh, planning to apply for the uh, documentary fund uh, uh, workshops and Europe's uh, creative uh, media fund. Um, we have been shooting since last uh, summer um, and Jesse, since Jesse was here visiting a family for a month and right now we need the money to be able to continue following her in her journey here as well as go back to her native can Canada, well sorry not native but adopted Canada and uh, look at her family life, what she's leaving behind, her parents, her brother, boyfriend and, and a world that is uh, a lot different than, than what you will find here. Uh, I have been working in, with Roma communities for for a while and uh, it seems to be the same problem over and over again and that is one of trust in, 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 in first instance and it's not the easiest thing to actually build trust in, in, within the community, you have to spend time there and we didn't necessarily have the time uh, last year and the budget to be able to, to do so and um, that's primarily the reason. I mean, this is a community that has been discriminated over tens and maybe hundreds of years and they kind of have a right to be enclosed and to, to push people out who want to come in their view to exploit and, you know, come shoot and leave and, you know. And so we're, we're thinking about ways in which we can involve them more and hopefully they will understand that we're not there to exploit, that we're there to to try and help, and but mainly that is the, the issue. I don't know if uh, Georgiana has more experience with this such the communities, but... Um. I think the problem here is related to race discrimination, in one hand. On, on the other hand, it's about social discrimination and the lack of interest and uh, any idea about how we can that a young women from Canada with a sort of mental health problems and uh, uh, I know kind of history of discrimination because in I mean it, it was not today but in one of your instances she also spoke about the way in which she was discriminated in Canada. I know if it's okay. It's okay. That is it's fine. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I think this. This kind of movie is also interesting for Romanians because mainly 
most of us, I mean, our generation, we are looking at the way in which orphans find a new way to live in other parts of the world, especially US and Canada. And there are very few, very few information about the way in which these children were connected before with their families or friends or, or I know sisters, brothers and parents. And uh, it also be a way of linking a link between institutionalization of children that remains here and children that were adopted abroad.